Let's talk about um, automating uh, your forms by adding a button. And a button perhaps can run, uh, maybe open up a different form, or maybe it can go uh, open up a report, or it can run a macro. The buttons can run uh, to do a lot of different things. So I'm going to go into this form. All right, we see this is a data entry screen. There, there's another video about how to make a form like this. And there'll be more coming as well about how to maintain that form. Uh, but a form is a data entry screen. Now, if you look over here, I have this orders report, and I have to double click on that to open up the report. Well, wouldn't it be nice to be able to run the uh, report right from the form and make it easy for the end user? So we're going to do that by adding a button to the form. So I'm going to go into design view for the form. And if you look uh, up on the design tab over here, there's all these different controls that we can add to the form. And uh, the one I'm looking for is this guy over here. It's called a, a button. Uh, it's something that you're going to click on. So I'm going to click on that. And let's say, well, I usually put these maybe at the top of the screen or in the bottom of the screen. I'm going to click on that. Now it's going to open up something that's called the command button wizard. The command button wizard has um, about 30 pre-programmed uh, things that you can do with these buttons and uh, they're in six different categories. So the six different categories as as are as follows. Record navigation. Uh, we can make it go to the next record or the previous record or do a find. Uh, so it's like having your own navigation bar except you have more control of where they appear on the screen. Record operations is where we can make that button add a new record or delete a record uh, or print or save a record or even undo. Okay, so again, it's all about making it user friendly for the, uh, for the end user. I'm going to pick on the form operations, see how we can make it open a form or close a form or print a form. All right. Report operations is where you can make it uh, email a report or open a report or preview a report. Application is where you can just quit the application and just, just uh, close it up access altogether. And then miscellaneous is where we can make it run a macro or run a query. So you have lots of different uh, things that you can do with these buttons. Let's make it run that report. And then I'm going to make another video which will show you how to call one form from another form using one of these buttons. But this time, let's do a report operation. I'm going to pick on preview the report. We'll pick on next. And I want to run the, the, re, the report that's called orders. If I had more than one report here, they'd be listed on the screen. I'm going to pick on next. Now it's saying, do you want text or a picture to appear on the button? Uh, you might want to look through some of the pictures. They're not bad. And to get even more pictures, I can say show all pictures here. And then you can see which ones might be helpful for you. But a lot of times I like to use the text because the text can be more uh, specific. So let's say, um, run orders report. So I can put my specific verbiage there when I use text. I'm going to pick on next here. Now this screen is asking for the name of the button. I, I would recommend that you give your button a name uh, for later on. So I'm going to call this one the reports button or let's say the, uh, the order reports button. Right? So uh, now I'm going to pick on finish and notice how I put that, that button right on the screen. Now the button is not going to work until we go into, uh, to, into form view, which we'll do in a second. But to add the button to our screen, we clicked on this icon and we were able to click over here and then it opened up the command button wizard, which is really powerful because it makes that button for you and it, it makes the code for you. I'm going to pick on cancel. Now, in, in this case, I want to get rid of that button. I was just showing you how to do that again. Uh, now, I'm going to run my form. I'm going to uh, go ahead and pick on view and then form view. Now, we're going to click on that button that says run orders report. And notice how the report comes right up and, and that's readily available for the user. When I click on close, uh, it'll go right back to the form. So, that's how we add our buttons into the uh, Form. Now each form can have as many buttons as you want it to do to do uh, different features.